Wednesday night basketball from Miami, and we are underway from the Watsco Center. And the Hurricanes will control the opening possession. Really, Megan, what will be a seven-man lineup, a seven-man rotation. Vasilovic for three, and it's good. Hurricanes out to an early 3 nothing lead. Probably about Dewan Hernandez. He is being uh, investigated by the NCAA, reviewing his eligibility. Vasilovic, two in a row, 6 nothing Miami. Ball game against LaSalle. So we'll see how it plays out. Here's a nice feed underneath to Azundu. Corner, three, lights, buries it. That signature win in late November over Wake Forest, 93-91 in overtime. As Philip McKenzie, the sophomore forward from the Bahamas. Hurricanes out to an early lead here tonight as they swing the ball around the perimeter. Boy, that was pretty. That was sweet offense by Miami. Three from the three-point line, so not sure about why they adjusted, made that adjustment. Zach Johnson set the check in for Miami. And up goes the big man, Edward Hart, high off the glass, contested by Azundu. Hurricanes moving the ball on offense. They get it down low to Azundu, who goes up with the left hand. High off the glass, and it's good. Him being offensively aggressive and finishing at the rim. Locked back out to a nine-point lead. Vasilovic has six. That bucket is good. Count the foul. Lynch Daniels swings it near side corner. Driving now, McKenzie, who floats it up off the glass. And it's good. More than a catch-and-shoot three-point player, he can put the ball on the floor. Been a pretty clean ball game thus far, too. Not many fouls. Zach Johnson lets it fly. Good job for several years at Florida Gulf Coast, and he comes back home. Now a three on the other end. This one by Oliver Lynch Daniels, the sophomore guard out of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Take it away, Sam Wardenberg rips it free. Here's Vasilovich who's going to set up shop. Maybe not. Here's Zach Johnson, left hand, off the glass, left side. Miami by seven, 19 to 12. A little bit too easy, not happy with himself, disgusted with himself. Thought he had an easy two. Now underneath, boy, that was a nice shot. Each of them ranks among the ACC's top 20 in minutes played, so it's not a deep rotation. Here is Likes, ready, no look, off the right side. Now taking a couple of charges here tonight. 11.35 left to play in the opening half. We'll head to break. Miami by seven. Difference in the game thus far. The Hurricanes are doing much better. They're five from nine from three, and that's really opened up the lane. Boy, Lawrence looks off his defender and hits another three. Matters on the offensive end of the floor, it translates. Dubose working on Lawrence with the right hand. Oh, are you kidding me? How'd he get that to fall? Stent is a senior forward, Wardenberg a sophomore forward. Wardenberg out of Auckland, New Zealand, Stent out of Christchurch, New England. Jalen Gates out of Selma, Texas, comes up a bit short. In the corner, Chris Like, 17 feet wide open, got it. That dribbles, his just offensive arsenal is just it's entirely entertaining and fun. Well, they left Jalen Gates wide open. Somebody lost them underneath the basket. He tries to go over the back of Lynch Daniels. The Hurricanes can't convert. Now on the other end, Azundu will flush it home. The ball game with just that. Now a double team coming on Hart. Here's Likes. Miami by 12. It's every time. You know, the Hurricanes look like a fresh ball club. Now the only gripe if uh, folks had one against Chris Likes, a three in the corner. Think about Zach Johnson when he brings to the team, it's a physicality in the corner there. The Hurricanes continue to double team Hart, who finds a wide open Osuji in the corner. A six foot six, 214 pound freshman guard out of Las Vegas, Nevada. McKenzie, three near corner on the wing and he got it. This is the point in time where really good teams close the half really strong. So for Miami, they've got to pick up where they started. <laughs> they have to be back. And he connects for an easy two. Lynch Daniels, that's a long ways away. Likes a couple of high screens, a floater in the paint, no good. Anthony Mack will fire away, and he gets it. And now max has been tasked with guarding DuBose, who goes to the left hand. And he tried to throw it down. Wow. And now it's taken away on the other end. Matter, but he comes up empty. That was a one-man show there for Miami. 
Dubose on the other end, and that's good to see. The dribble drive, kicks it back out to Lawrence, who finds a wide open Vasilovic. Lawrence for three, got it. Vasilovic, no. Wardenberg with the offensive rebound, nearly had it taken away by Dubose. It bounced off the left knee of Likes into the hands of the Huskies underneath an easy two for McKenzie. Well, without a Zundu on the floor right now, we're looking at Lawrence and Wardenberg being your primary enforcers on the interior. A three by Lynch Daniels and Houston Baptist. Trails Miami by just three. Wardenberg dribble drive into the paint. It's a little floater that rattles around and drops. A fresh 30 for Miami. Well, Zach Johnson nearly turns it over. Seven point lead. 15-15 showing on the game clock. Strong left hand by Edward Hart. On the campus of the University of Miami, Huskies basketball out of the timeout. 14-24 on the game clock. Houston Baptist trails by five. Make it two. Lynch Daniels thought about it. Into the paint. Gates, three, the lead. Got it! Houston Baptist, 48, Miami, 47. And Jim Laranega is going to call a timeout. So Gates has eight. Lynch Daniels has 12. McKenzie with 10. Hart with eight. He's distributed the ball well. Lawrence to retake the lead. And he does so. Scoring, it's about the timing of that basket. That's a momentum killer. He's got 16. High off the glass goes Edward Hart. Oh, he must have again been cramping. Lawrence can't connect on an easy layup. Azundu, a second chance opportunity. A couple of offensive rebounds for Miami. Miami by two, 12 minutes left to play. Lynch Daniels underneath the heart. It's swatted away. A turnover. Miami basketball with an increase on that two point lead. Likes to Azundu with the left hand. Tune up for your conference play, um, and we all know that, but. HBU has not been shy to score to schedule. Look at that by Sam Wardenberg. They have not been shy to schedule stiff competition. Miami back out to a six-point lead. Coming out of that break, Miami had led for 27 minutes and 12 seconds. Houston Baptist had led for just 28 seconds. Now Wardenberg just looking to hand it off, and he gets it back into the hands of Chris Likes, who shakes off Bonds, hands it off to Azundu, and he throws it down. Let's take another look. He shakes off Bonds, a no-look pass to Azundu, who throws it down in the face of Uloko, and uh, mm, he might end up on a poster. Get the big boy the ball. He certainly knows what to do with it. Daniels contested. Boy, 15 feet away. One of the toughest shots he's had to make all night long. I have to give a lot of credit to the entire Miami coaching staff. They're doing a great job with a lot of art certain pieces. Vasilovic has six. Lawrence leads all scores with 16. Lynch Daniels has 14. Now the pressure has Houston Baptist all out of sorts. Vasilovic hits a three. A timeout on the floor. 18 points a game. He's got just five. He's got to pick it up. He's got to go in a hurry. Looking to do just that. In the paint. Right hand. Good. Got it. Miami looking to widen that margin, widen that lead. Johnson step back, doesn't get the foul call, makes it anyway. Comfortable offensively, and as soon as they've cranked up the pressure defensively, uh, the Huskies have been all out of sorts. Nice little spin move down low. Off to the left side goes Edward Hart. Have to just really lay off on the play of what I call Ole defense. So I would like to see Hart get a little bit more touches for each game. And now Azundu collects two more. He's got 14. Our understanding, he has hired an attorney to expedite that process through the NCAA. But, uh... Well, HBU seems to be in no hurry to score with two minutes change remaining on the clock. Dubose will fire away, and he got it. He's got 10. Let's see if Dubose tries to take charge. Try to knock a few down. Here he goes into the corner. Lynch Daniels three. He banked it off the glass on an impossible angle. HBU looking to lock him down on defense and get another stop. And here goes Johnson. 
A finger roll. What's impressive is just how well he does so many different things. The versatility of his skill set. Zundu uh, gets hit underneath the chin, likes across the timeline. Megan, your parting thoughts. A great victory for Miami, getting back in the win column, and a valiant effort by HBU.